Buona notte, buona notte tutti. Good evening. Um, I'm gonna continue the art, um, the art lesson, if or workshop or. Um, let's no. Let, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. This is. This is. Um, no. Yeah. It, this. This would be part of the workshop that I explained. Um, I think earlier this week or or last week. Um, over materials. Um, there's a lot of materials in every art store. Um, when I when I speak of art stores, uh, I'm I'm referring to uh, places where they sell. Um, let's see, canvas. Um, let's see, drawing, drawing, drawing materials, different kinds of, uh, different kinds of charcoal, different kinds of, um, uh, we talked about last week was, uh, pastels, uh, different types, types of pencils. And uh, let's see, um, different types of paper, very important. All right, so if we have, um, if, we're, if we're starting out, um, we don't know what to get, we don't know what, we don't know what, what, ki what kinds of um, art we want to make, we just want to kind of experiment, we just want to kind of, um, you know, uh, gets get whatever and start and start laying stuff down and uh, I don't know if I should get ink. I, should, I don't know if I should start with uh, drawing uh, with 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 paint. This is obviously a a personal decision. I think drawing drawing is is the base, fundamentally most important. Um, I would say the heart, the brain, the the soul of every art created ever. Everything, everything revolves around this concept. I can't really draw because I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> um, if you want to be, uh, if you want to be a good painter, if you want to be a good artist. You have to sometime in in your in your career or in your um, since we're just talking about maybe just getting some materials. This is this is this is brief. Just just want I just want to emphasize the importance of drawing. Uh, drawing is a lot of things. There's millions of artists and different uh, obviously different times in in art history where um, art is of evidence and of evident of evident use um, it can be uh, it can be a little bit frustrating for people who don't I don't want to spend that much time I don't want to I don't want to I just want to make I just want to I kind of like uh, I kind of like abstract art I don't want to do I just want to get right into painting which is uh, which is a great a great decision also but um, just want you to know that anytime that you find yourself in a in a very a complicated situation where you where you have no idea what what's going on or why is this why is this um, why is this so important it's because drawing is what I said earlier uh, it's the soul the heart the the engine that that makes art, the structure of art, everything is enveloped by by drawing. Okay, so I put I posted up some 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 videos of me painting yesterday. Uh, there was a canvas uh, laid on uh, uh, laid upright on on in my in my living room, and uh, that canvas was um, was made for me. Um, especially, I, I had it made. 
but in uh, there's uh, Blick, for example, I know I used to work at, at Blick, Blick Art Materials. In uh, I, I worked on in the one on um, which what was it on Sunset? Is it Sunset or Hollywood? No, uh, Wilshire. I forgot. I think it's Wilshire or Santa Monica Boulevard. I think it's Santa Monica Boulevard. Anyways, Blick Art Materials. It's everywhere in the United States. I think there's also another one. It's called uh, I'm not. I don't know what name what 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 name it is. But that's the one that that's where I worked, and they have a great great selection of canvas. But uh, going back to drawing, if if um, no wait, let's 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 uh, I'm I'm explaining the the canvas. If we're doing, uh, if, if we want to get some canvas and and start messing around with paint, <clears throat> I recommend that you get something uh, not so big and not too small. Get something where you can where you can use uh, big brushes or at least one. I personally I I um, uh, I use uh, oh, let's hold on. I'm a little, I can't. I'm looking at my phone and I'm trying to look at my paper. All right, canvas. Uh, I wouldn't get I wouldn't get something this obviously this size. This is like a this is where I write notes and it's just sit, sitting down on my desk. Um, I would get something maybe the size of, uh, um, I don't know, let's say maybe something like in here in, in, in Colombia, we use centimeters to measure. I would probably get something like 50 by 70 centimeters. It's a, it's, this is a, this is a decent size to start off with. Um, Blick has great, great, great canvases. And a great selection. Um, don't get anything smaller because if you get something small, you if you don't have any experience, you're just going to end up finding yourself cluttering the canvas, and it's not going to be something that, uh, well, something that you, you're you're going to be. Um, you want somewhere you, where you can move around and experiment, right? If it's a, if it's too small of a canvas, you're not really going to find yourself. Um, if you really, if you want, if you really want to, really, really want to experiment, I would get a, I would get one. No, that's good. That's a good size. That's a good size. This is portrait. This is, this is the size. If you've seen my my portraits in my Instagram, in my Instagram, this is a. Let me see where is it. I'm trying to look at my phone. Mm. Roniarte. I think this is it at Instagram. I, I got I gotta post a link. This isn't it. This isn't it. I gotta I gotta post a link. If you've seen all the port portraits that I have there, it's uh, mainly acrylic based. There are some oils. I'm using basically this size, fifty by seventy centimeters. In the United States, I think it's a different size. You have to you have to make the conversion in on Google. But it's a great portrait if you want to um, you know draw skulls and maybe. Um, do portraits it's a great uh it's a great way to maybe to start you know experimenting or it's a great size for like for portraits anyways it looks like i drew charlie brown <clears throat> anyways um canvas blick materials uh okay the canvas I have is a a um, it's a it's a regular canvas. I, I, I don't I don't have I don't, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, I, I'm not I don't remember the, the maybe they've changed the the types of canvas. I would get the most. Ask them that you're start to tell you know tell tell somebody there that you're just you know tell them I'm I'm I'm, I'm starting. I, don't, I have no absolutely no idea what to do with art or. I just want to get some canvas and some paints and maybe some brushes. Um, look for inexpensive stuff. Inexpensive stuff is very good. It's not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna uh, rot or it's not gonna uh, go to waste. Um, it's not. Uh, you're, you're. It's not gonna. It's not. It's not a bad idea to invest in some in inexpensive materials at the beginning. Because these materials are made especially for people who have no idea 
who have have never drawn or have no idea about art you know they're made um i don't know if i could, if you could use the word rustically um they're made especially for people that have no experience so they're they're it's 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 paper that's not delicate it's paper that will will hold a lot more mistakes uh speaking of speaking in terms of water or oil or um ink you know if you go overboard it'll probably hold more than expensive stuff so um okay so canvas they ask for the the inexpensive stuff um there's these the, there's uh, acrylic paints and then there's oils you can choose either one one is a lot more uh, malleable which is oil you can you can you can paint something and leave it there for two days and come back to it and the paint's still fresh but it's toxic so if you're in the same room trying to sleep in the same room as as the paint i do not recommend that because it's toxic and you could probably end up uh having uh serious side effects due to inhaling the the fumes uh that the oils um contain so um what's the difference between oils, oils and acrylic the difference between both of these is the binder the thing that holds it together and i'm sure there's one or two other things that is uh probably specific to uh to to each brand um you know making it making it their own and probably something something special maybe colors are obviously different between one brand and the other uh the same with paints don't don't look for expensive stuff i've seen rem uh, i've seen uh people getting van gogh paints these are very expensive so are the rembrandts oh, did i spell that right rembrandts so are the rembrandts uh i think there's another one it's called um what's the other one called oh it's um uh, Wins Winsor Newton. These are expensive brands. If you're starting out, don't get don't get the stuff. This this stuff is very. If if you don't know what you're doing, this stuff will probably crack and and it'll, and it'll just go to waste within uh, within the canvas. Blick has their own their own brand of paints and oils. I recommend you start with this. Um, I've used this stuff and it's great. It's excellent. This is the stuff I used when I, I was in L.A. Uh, like like 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And I painted like 10 really big paintings uh, on, on, on these. Uh, it's like I, th I think they were like some closet doors I found on the street. Um, this stuff, this stuff is, is uh, th th these, these, these paints are excellent. Um, I, I used acrylic, obviously, but they have oils. They have oils too. Acrylics, acrylics are great. Um, if you're gonna paint in your room, in your house, if you wanna, if all of a sudden, if, for some reason, you, you, you so when you're, you know, you're, you're, you're painting and you're, you're having, you know, you're having fun, you start using, um, leaving brushes around and stuff. Stuff starts to get stained, and it's better to. To, it's easier to clean acrylic it's it's not it's probably not uh i'm it's probably not uh um not gonna come off completely but it will probably if you catch it on time it'll 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 be easier maybe not close maybe some clothes um but oils are permanent so if you don't catch it on time and you let it dry that that's that's gonna stay there um Another thing, another difference between acrylics and oils is that acrylics are water-based. I'm trying to look at my phone and water, oil, oil. And this is obviously oil-based, right? Water-based is a lot more, it's, it's safer for children. Um, it's still toxic. They can't, they can't, they can't drink it or, or eat it. It's still very toxic. Acrylic is um, and what happens is that when it dries, it turns into a hard plastic, and it. Uh, I use it a lot for for house paint. I, I think a lot of house paint nowadays, 
um, is um, is water based and it's acrylic. So it's water based, but it's still uh, chemical, right? It's it's um, it's got a binder and it's and it's uh, it's a pigment. So there's different kinds, different types of acrylics. There's artist. Let's write acrylics here. There's acrylics. There's artist acrylics. There's where there's house paint, and I'm not sure what the other one is, but because I've never, ha I've never, uh, I've, I've never bought the actual uh, binder to make to make my own acrylic. You know, there's people who make their own paints. I don't recommend you do this yet. I don't I don't do this yet because I'm not uh I'm not painting 24/7. If I was, I'd probably make my own paints because it's a lot uh, a lot cheaper, but it's a, it's a lot more dangerous and toxic. So um artist artist acrylics are much more expensive than the house acrylics. You can get house paint. But house paint is um house paint has a a, a specific type of binder and pigment the quality is a lot is a lot less reliable than the artist this will last for um a very 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 long time uh, a lot more than house paint than the house the quality is let's say this is kind of like medi medium medium yeah like like medium grade medium to low medium to low grade uh acrylic it's still good i've used i've used it to cover or to experiment like if i if i get a a, bi a big a big um a big table um, a big table a big um a big door or something you find you find these doors on the on the street or something that basquiat probably used to do a lot um or boxes you can use that at carton it's not as reliable because carton is something that could uh if it gets wet it'll it'll rot uh, maybe old books you know you find an old book and it's torn it's torn to shreds or something you find in the trash you could use house paint to paint over this stuff and it's it'll hold it'll it's it's something that it's something to look at but it's it's this is definitely the best option artist acrylic especially if you have a if you don't have a studio and and you have to paint in your room and or you um or or, or somebody somebody will just tell you no no i don't want i don't want the paint here or you know you got to go to your room or whatever anyways so the artist acrylic is the best option um oil is very tempting o oil is very tempting to to purchase because it's obviously it's the classic it's italian it's leonardo da vinci it's um you know the it's uh, the, the Renaissance, it's Botticelli, it's uh, Caravaggio. All these artists used uh, uh, oil from, from that era, from that, uh, from that time period. Oils are a lot safer now, and they're a lot more durable than they used to be. Especially if you, if you buy them made... Um, you can buy the oil separately, and it's very tempting because it's very, you know, it's it's very romantic to to want to to follow follow those steps. But these artists that I'm mentioning, they used not acrylic, but they used. There's another type of paint, which is tempera. This is what we we give kids to paint if they want to paint. It's um, it used to be egg, like uh, egg based egg egg wash. I'm not. I don't know too much about tempera, but I know that it's. They use it a lot in, uh, for kid for kindergarten students if they're gonna paint stuff. They you know they're gonna get their hands wet. It's probably still toxic because it, there's it's pigment. Paint is paint is paint. It's pigment, and it can be toxic. I'm not sure what binder it's. It's um. It used to be egg. That's what uh, Michelangelo I think used for the, for the sixteenth for the sixteenth chat. Uh, Six Sistine, I'm sorry, Sistine Chapel. It's not Sistine Chapel. It's Sistine, Sistine, Sistine Chapel. Um, so these are the three different types of paints. The one that I'm using is the acrylic artist, the acrylic artist, and canvas. Okay, so 
what do you do if you get the canvas? Can you paint straight on? Yeah, you can. You can you can paint straight on to the canvas um, directly from from. Uh, for example, I have one here. I used this yesterday. This is a this is something they. This is carrot color. This is they make this here in Colombia, Industria Colombiana. They make these acrylics here, Produarte. They also make, um, well, okay, let's get to that. So you can go directly on the canvas, right? So, uh, th thing, th the thing that I was doing in the video is that what I do is I open, I open the, the bottle and I draw with, with the paint. I squeeze it lightly, and as I go, I, I, drip, I drip the paint across. So I'm basically drawing with, I'm drawing, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing with the, with, with the paint bottle, uh, directly onto the canvas. This is something that uh, uh, I'm not sure if Jackson Pollock, Pollock did it, but I know he, I know um, I forgot his name. Um, well, the 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 actor who played Jackson Pollock in the Pollock movie, he did it in the beginning of the movie. He would draw uh, directly from the from the um, from the tube from the oil tube. Um, okay. Um, okay. So, uh, you can, do, you can draw directly onto the canvas with, with the, but there's also the, but there's also the option of, of protecting the canvas so that within time it won't, uh, it won't create mold. Sometimes depending on, on moisture and, um, and the way we store the the canvas, uh, it'll get moldy. It'll start to collect dust, etc., 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 and the paint will be affected by it. If you want to seal the surface, the best way you the best way you can, you want to use this thing called gesso. It's a ground. You wanna you want to ask someone in in the store. You want to say. Um, Where's your gesso? There's different kinds of gesso. There's oil-based gesso, and there's water-based acrylic gesso. It's already made. It's already in the bottle. Get this stuff. This stuff is great. It's the best so far. I'm. Um, I've yet to uh, not experiment. I've yet to do this correctly because there's there, there's a right way to do this and there's a wrong way to do this. And if you apply oil oil based gesso on your canvas incorrectly, it will collect a lot of heat, uh, mold, and dust, and it'll just rot, and your your paintings will end up cracking, and and uh, the oil will just fall. Anyways, a mess, right? And especially the the smell, the smell uh, with time, it just starts to smell rotten and and very unpleasant. So acrylic is uh, is really great. Um, Interesting, interesting story about acrylic. I'm, I'm not sure what, what the exact story behind the acrylic, the invention of the acrylic. But what I think, I think is is very uh, interesting is that I think uh, first artists in um, the first acrylic paintings in the world are in in Mexican murals. They're um, um, I think they they basically invented the acrylic, the acrylic uh, based paint, um, in need of preserving their murals. I think uh, was it Diego Rivera. I don't know if Frida Kahlo used it. I think she didn't. I think she was just uh, she did. But she was very st uh, very stuck to tradition. So um, it's something to probably look at. Um, Something to look at. I don't think she did it because she was probably, you know, uh, drawn more to tradition and she wanted to use traditional materials. But Diego Rivera and um, I forgot his name, Siqueiros. I don't remember his, his um, I hope I'm not misspelling this. Siqueiros. Um, they were the first, like the pioneers of, of their, I guess of their age. Because um, what 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 was what was happening to murals was that uh, in it in Italy murals were were falling apart. You can still see, for example, Masaccio's, 
Masaccio's uh, paintings. Some of them have been ruined due to, well, use. That's an M. Masaccio. I think it's with two C's. That's wrong. Masaccio. I think that's it. I'm just, they're probably both wrong. Anyways, <clears throat> Masacho, uh, it was their reaction to to what was happening in in the murals, uh, uh, the Italian re uh, Renaissance murals that they were falling apart. So what 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 did they have to do? I don't. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what happened or who invented it or or if it was them who asked somebody, a professional or a chemist or. Somebody that had to uh, do with with um, knowledge of pigments and binders and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that they needed something a lot stronger, something that would that would hold. So, um, long story short, I I from from my knowledge, from my I don't have the actual facts or data, or but this is what I have that uh, the Mexican murals that were painted by Diego Rivera and Siqueiros are acrylic based, and they're the first in the world. So. That's that's an interesting that's a, that's an interesting um, fact to know. Um, okay, so we have let's see, we have drawing acrylic. Okay, we were talking about the acrylic gesso, like I said. Uh, this one, for example, is from the same Colombian uh, uh, industry. Produart. This is gesso, gesso blanco. I. There's gesso, there's black gesso, and there's uh, white gesso. Uh, I've never used black gesso. Um, what I do is have the 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 the, the video that you saw, well, the video that's on YouTube that I'm painting. What I what I normally do to get the best result, like if I want the best protection, I want the best. Um, um, I, I want it to seal the best it can. I'll use this stuff, which is really, it's it's basic. You could use this just straight out, out, out of the bottle. You could add a little water. You don't have to, but it'll probably be, be better if you do because uh, it'll cover more ground. What I usually do is that I grab an old, like an old, an old one of these. It's like, this is empty. And I'll dump um, some of this stuff with a color to give it some tone, right? So what will happen to this? Is that it'll 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 turn into like a really light pastel orange. Um, if that's not the color you want, well, you find you you, you have to find um, the mix that you want. So, for example, if I want a red, if I want a really uh, strong orange, well, then I make it from yellow and from red, right? Um, or whatever, or whatever it is. I usually, I usually put a mid, a mid, um, a dark mid tone on my on my canvas because it's what I like to. I like to work. I like to work from. Oh, I dropped something. Um, I like to work from. I like to work from from the mid to the light, back into the mid to the light, back into the mid, and then I start adding dark. Um, some people go with black gesso. I'm guessing this is what they want. They want something very dark so they can work to the mids or to the lights and mids, lights and mids. Anyways, um... I've never used black gesso, so I can't I can't really tell you why it's used or how it's used or who uses it. I just use this stuff, which is traditional. All right, so we have we have the canvas, we have the uh, acrylic. This is what I what what I use. This is this is what I use my style or or whatever you want to call it. But what do I? This isn't really my style. This is what 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 is this? What is my purpose? Um, why do I use this? What's the purpose of using this? The purpose of using this is that I know that it has the best result in terms of protecting the canvas and uh, it won't 
harm me uh, in terms of to toxicity, right? The dog, I have a I have a pet German Shepherd, and he sleeps here in the in the living room. I don't want him inhaling that stuff, and I don't want to be inhaling the stuff. I you, I don't even want to be inhaling acrylic pigment, but you let it dry, and once it dries, it's it's uh, it doesn't smell. So this these are my reasons, right? I could use oils. There is oil-based gesso, but it's a lot more complicated process. If you jump into this stuff, there's a lot, there's a there's a bigger mess made. And uh, if you don't apply the the paint uh, properly, it could uh, it could ruin your painting. Especially if you're if you if you're if you're gonna work on it for a really long time and you're really proud of your work and you wanna. I don't know, maybe sell it or show it off or um, for whatever reason you want to archive it, it'll it'll just, you know, go go bad. It'll start to smell really bad because uh, pigment and um, pigment and binder, uh, if it rots, it starts to smell really bad, right? If it's not applied correctly, it'll start to smell really, really, really bad, so... Um, Okay, so we got we got we got this stuff covered. All right, so uh, da, 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 da. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to share. So basically, what I do is, long story short, all this stuff. You want to get acrylics. Get inexpensive. Inex. inexpensive why do i say inexpensive because it's a it's a lot it's a lot more enjoyable if you can go back to the store and get more paint right if you're getting very expensive stuff the list you know the the the, the materials they start to pile up and then you start getting brushes and maybe i want to get a notepad and maybe i want to get some pencils and etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. and then you want to go back to the store you want to get inexpensive stuff so you can get more stuff not because it's not not because it's it's bad, bad in quality. It's inexpensive. It's not cheap. It's inexpensive. Um, it is very good quality. Uh, there's a lot of art materials within the store that are aimed at um, uh, their, their sales. The, the, um, the people they want to sell it to is younger audiences. I, I, ki ki uh, kindergarten children. Uh, school children, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because uh, because people think, you know, the the idea is that people think that these materials are are uh, because they're inexpensive, that they're bad quality, but it's quite the opposite. They're made inexpensively and massively because we want, you know, we want children to draw. We want children in schools. This is aimed. Uh, it's it's probably not the. We want we we want people from from. Um, we want children to be interested in art and we want them to draw and this stuff is really good uh this this is a really good brand of, of faber castell i think it's it's german it's a german company and it's it's their prices are very inexpensive because um they're usually selling crayons and um uh, and pencils for children but if you use that stuff on your own on your own work, you you'll you'll see that it'll, it's going to outlast the expensive stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't get. I've seen two hundred dollar brushes. Excuse me, I've seen two hundred dollar brushes, and those are <laughs> those are for professional fine artists, which you know spend uh, you know, spend um, months on 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 working on working professionally and. It's a different, it's a different, it's a different, um, let's say, it's a different situation for them, right? We want to get inexpensive stuff. I, I, I've sold paintings and, I, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm very happy with the inexpensive acrylics. Artist, artist, right? Artist, 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 artist acrylics. I have used house for experimenting is really good for getting effects for... Um, but if you want your stuff to last and guaranteed is the artist acrylic um, for the reasons that we talked about here that uh, these people figured out that 
uh, uh, figured out a way to conserve murals for a lot longer. How long does how long do do do, do we do each of these last? Um, do each how long the how long does each of these different paints last? Um, acrylic is um, acrylic is said to to outlast oil. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Acrylic is said to be competing with oil. It's com right now. It's currently competing with oil in the ter in terms of of last and durability because of its of its robust uh, structure. This stuff is they put this stuff on um, on murals. Well, if you want to look at the uh, uh, Diego Rivera's uh, Cicados' uh, murals, those are those are acrylics. Those are the first acrylics. Um. Uh, so if, if you if you if you're if you're doubting what to get, oil obviously if you look at the Mona Lisa you know that it's been there for three hundred years, and it's 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 uh, it's outlasted whatever whatever else is uh, in the market. But that's different. That it's a different era, and there's millions of dollars put into that painting every year to conserve it, to make sure that it to make sure that it stays preserved. So. Um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stray away from oil completely because it's, it's, um, it's toxic. If you have, if you find, if you have a garage then I would paint in the garage and leave and leave the stuff in the garage and, you know, let it dry there. Maybe put some nails up on the wall and, and, and hang, uh, and hang your work. Uh, it's got a different, um, it's got a, a different tone. It's it's oil is has is it's it's very bi vibrant colors and um, also depending on how you apply it obviously, but oil has a, a, a very vibrant color. Pigments usually you know have this, this specific shine and but I really like the acrylics. I think they're very effective and I use them. That's what I use. That's what I use. The the paintings that I've I've um, the painting that uh, I've been uh, the, the painting I'm working on right now is it's been gesso it's the this white stuff gesso and acrylic all right um, I'm sorry if I like to repeat myself this these videos are very long but uh, I think it's very important for my my ideas to to come across clearly um, I don't want to uh, I don't want I don't want I don't want uh, people or children to get stuff and then they start using it and they're like oh my god this stuff no this stuff doesn't work no it, it guaranteed acrylic art or artist water-based uh gesso is what you want to get there's another brand uh blick there's liquitex which is very good but it's very expensive well compared to the to the store brand i would get blick if you if you want to go a little bit more expensive, I'd go Liquitex, but it's this is a lot more expensive. But it's 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 what I used on those paintings. Uh, well, I was saying that I I I, um, I was painting I painted a f some some paintings back in in Los Angeles, like twelve years ago. That's the stuff I used, Liquitex. Liquitex gesso. It's a lot more expensive, but it's I I think I have I had more more of a guarantee. I wasn't sure if I if I if I was gonna. Um, paint over those boards because those boards I think have in an oil based uh, primer which is wasn't very smart but yeah, I didn't have anything else to I was going to sand the boards but I didn't and we'll see we'll see what happens I gotta I gotta check I gotta check those paintings anyways hopefully they're still there I don't know if they're still there uh let's see so we got inexpensive acrylics art art artist acrylics right um don't be don't be uh, scared by inexpensive stuff, in, especially in this stuff. I mean, maybe if you're gonna buy food and and your and your chicken, you see like I don't know something that's a lot cheaper than than this. It's like you you have two pieces of chicken. One is more expensive than the other. I mean, it's a diff I think it's a different uh, situation, right? Because maybe. Uh, this doesn't apply to food, right? This this applies to art, artistic, uh, art, artistic, uh, artist materials. So don't, uh, I don't, I'm not, 
this is our, so just people get excited and artist materials. I wouldn't get cheap food. <laughs> Don't want to risk people's health. All right. Um, brushes. There's different kinds of brushes. Um, this is a this is a um, a type of acrylic, which is which is perfect for painting with acrylic. Um, but you have to wash them when you're done. But they're since they're water based, all you do is is throw some water on. And do this. And you'll get most of it out. You could add a little soap, which is probably smarter because it'll get everything out. But if it dries, it won't it won't damage the brush. Brushes will last. If you use oil and don't and don't wash your your um don't wash your brushes properly, they will get damaged. And they will they will stick together right here. The bristles will stick together up here, and you won't be able to paint because every time you paint, it'll you'll you'll see these lines that are that are not supposed to be there. I would get these. These are acrylic based. These these uh, these hairs are acrylic based. This is plastic. This is a plastic, very very fine plastic, but it's very good. This is what I paint with. There's another. Uh, there's different kinds of. I think there's sable hair. I think there's a. There's different kinds of of uh, organic hair organic hair based uh, brushes i don't know if that's the correct term but i would stray away from those because those are used for oil and every time you every time you clean them you lose you lose hair and it's and then usually those are a little bit more expensive and if you leave them if you leave them there they'll they they, e they easily get damaged and these are the best ones the acrylic acrylic based um you also feel like if if you if you touch them, you know they're very soft. But since they're acrylic based, you can wash them with water, and no, nothing will happen. I've had these. I've had this. This is my favorite brush. I don't. <laughs> I've had this thing for like fifteen years. If you can hear the, it's falling apart. But I've kept it in good condition. It's what I use to to paint big. Look at the the bristles are still good. It's acrylic based, acrylic based. It's a type of plastic. I'm not sure how they how, I'm not sure how they make it, but it's very good quality. And it will it will outlast. Uh, if you try to get, grab one of those sable brushes and you uh and you paint with oil or acrylic and then you start to do this with it, hair the 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 hair will starts to fall off and it doesn't last as long. So acrylic based brushes I've had this, I've had this for, yeah, for a very long time. Almost, I think like what, since the 2010, maybe like 12 years. I've had this thing. It's still, it's still good. It's falling apart, but these are very good. Um, I think they sell them in um, uh, Home Depot. That's that, that's another thing. Uh, yeah, the house house and artistic brushes uh, are completely different as well. Uh, I wouldn't just get artistic brushes. I would get, I would get these as well because uh, durability and the the ground they cover. These are these are good too. These will last. I've had this one for a long time too. Years I've had this thing, but because I because I wash them properly. Well, not very properly. This 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 paint should not be here. I, but it since it's water based, I could probably. I could keep cleaning it and find a way to get that stuff off and it'll still it'll still be good. Right? This comes off with it starts to. So these are the these are the um, you find these in uh, I got I got a new one here. Uh here we go. <clears throat> these are my favorite brushes. Lion brushes. These are made in China, but they're great. You see the bristles very it's synthetic it's it's not synthetic hair it's um 
it's plastic but it's very it's very good quality and this stuff this stuff lasts i use this to cover the canvas if you don't want to if you don't want to um apply um if you don't want to make the mixture like i, I was i was saying that i i grab one of these old old ones and i put um i put old um i put i put old uh wait i want to show you the price because this is an old press and that's probably going to confuse people all right i grab one of these old ones i throw gesso in and then some and then a tone it could be this too you know for like a like a really light blue this stuff is great too botero so i use these botero these are really good um and then the mixture you mix it you mix it well once it's mixed you could add a little bit of water add a little bit of water shake it up open it up and then this stuff you can apply it like this or with a over the roller right onto the canvas and you let it dry you can apply one or two coats one or two coats is more than more more than enough because when you buy the canvas let's say you go to blick and then you um you buy you buy the canvas uh there's already there's already a a type of acrylic it's not a gesso all right so if they say it's a gesso i don't i'm not okay well here it's not a gesso maybe maybe it's a type of gesso but it's a it's a it's a lot more um um it's what they use on all the canvas when they sell it they have to apply a primer so i think it's more primer than gesso um and then uh if you ask they're probably gonna say yeah no it's it has it has a coat of gesso it's probably not gesso or probably not the best gesso so what you do is you add one coat of one coat of uh, gesso and you let it dry for like 20 25 minutes and then you go over it again very thin coats don't don't uh, add thick thick paint because the idea is to cover the cover the um, the air holes in the in the in the in the surface of the canvas you don't want to overdo it with the gesso there's there's a lot of people who experiment with it and do other stuff but for 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 this for this video's sake um i would i would apply so you look at the canvas you buy it new it looks it looks like it has it has a really nice primer and it, and it is a nice primer it's very good very very durable but to be on the safe side i add one coat of gesso let it dry and then i add another coat you could add just one it's probably what i did uh, what i did uh last night uh yesterday i just added one one coat of one coat of gesso okay so that's it that's it for the for brushes for materials there's different kinds of acrylics like i said if you're gonna paint if you want it to be good quality you want to get artistic acrylics you don't want to get house acrylics uh you want to get house acrylics if you're going to experiment and do something really if you want to cover ground but i wouldn't rely on this as being uh, a final product it's good if it's good for the house it'll last but it's but it we've no like i've I've known i've known uh houses to you know like they get a new paint job and they ha they need one like in three four or five years and what happens if you don't it starts to get moldy and because it's not the best acrylic it's not the best coverage it's not the best uh sealer it it has a primer within within the the paint but it's not the best sealer this is the best sealer the gesso the gesso what is it the gesso is the best sealer you can apply it with this stuff this is what i apply it with sometimes to cover more, more surface all right um i wanted to go over books um see do i have do i have time yeah i got time i got time on the video hopefully hopefully i have enough gigabytes on my on my phone Okay, so we got brushes, drawing. Okay, uh, drawing materials, uh, draw, drawing paper. If you're going to get into drawing, like I said, you want heavy, thick paper. You don't want 
uh, sketch paper. You don't want to paint. Uh, you could use gesso on, on mixed media paper, stuff that I have here. Excuse my stomach. I just had, I just had dinner. So my stomach is, it's making, making noise. Um, I have this. It's really thick paper, mixed media paper. This is really good. It looks like canvas. It's really thick. There is canvas paper, which is canvas, but it's a lot, a lot more expensive and it's, um, yeah, a lot more expensive. This is good paper, mixed media paper. I added a coat of this stuff, gesso, with a ground, which is the I made. I made a gray. I added black and and some other tones, so I could get sp this this gray specifically. If you want to see it, All right. So I added the gesso. And I made a mix of, of a ground tone and applied it just once. And I did it with a roller. That's, that's why it looks like that. If you apply it with this stuff, you're going to see the brush. The brush. Oh, that's, that's what fell. I use this. I use this. Uh, so I, I, make, I, I make the mix, the mixture. And then I, I uh, dump it on here. Right, I make the mix, and then I pour it in here. Once I pour it in here, I apply it to this. It's a roller. It's a really small roller. It's probably the size of uh, maybe one of these. Yep. But it's great. It's a great roller. This is my this is my favorite go-to way of covering the canvas. Because every every part of the canvas gets an equal amount of paint. If you do it with the brush, you're gonna get some places it's gonna it's gonna look offsetting, right? Some places it's gonna have more than than uh, than another uh, than than another area. So like you you cover the brush here very well, but you apply it here and it's gonna you're gonna tell you're gonna that's why it looks like that. That's why the canvas looks like that, very flat and and uh, like uh, what's it called? What's that word? Uniform? You know. It looks like one thing, right? Just um, so you you pour it here, and then you you know just like you're gonna paint the like if you're gonna paint the wall, and you cover it and you cover the canvas. It's not gonna cover, obviously, for the size. So you gotta go over it gently. Don't press too hard because it's it's not gonna. It doesn't. You don't need to press hard. It's gonna grab it because it's white canvas. It's gonna it's gonna absorb everything you you put on it. So anyways, that's it. This is another reason why I, I like acrylics is because I get I get the result automatically. Like in 10 minutes, I know what I know that I know what's gonna happen. The color's gonna stay that way. Oil tends to change and it takes forever to dry. If I was gonna if I was doing stuff like this with oil, it would take uh, a lot more time, weeks, because it's because it's really thick paint. It would probably take like 10 or 15 days for it to it would take a very long time for it to dry. So that's why my uh, my go-to is acrylic paint, acrylic artistic paint. All right, so that's that. I think I'm not gonna go over books. I'm gonna, just gonna make, well, I'm gonna go over books, but I'm gonna use another, another video for it. Um, there's, there's this brand in the United States. They have uh, uh, Liquitex Basics. These are very good. I like these a lot. Oh, be careful with cadmium red because it's very toxic compared to compared to other oils. It is very 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 toxic. So, make sure your kids don't swallow this or For some reason it's this one, cadmium red. It, out of all the acrylics, out of all the tones, it's this one. Cadmium red is very toxic. So, don't make sure you don't leave it around or let your dog eat it or whatever. It's it's poisonous. Um, what are these good for? Why did I get this, uh, Messi as a Argentinian soccer player, the greatest soccer player in the world right now? Well, in my, in my opinion, um, why, why, why this? I saw, I saw, um, um, 
well, if you've if you've gone to an art store and you look for the drawing stuff and you know you're learning for you're looking for stuff to learn how to draw, there's this wooden there's a wooden there's a wooden model that you can use. Also, they have wooden hands that you can use. But if you, for example, you don't have a model and you want to learn how to draw people, this is an excellent way of doing it. Oops. Anyways, you get the idea. I can't, I can't, I can't hold the phone and, and uh, let's just sit him down because he was, he was sitting down here. Use these to clean, to clean your hands. The, um, uh, the, the tips of the brushes, I use this stuff. Don't use towels because you're going to ruin the towel. Use this stuff. And water, right? You dump it in the water and then you grab one of these, you tear one of these off and then you clean it like you're going to, you know, like you're going to, you're going to, you're going to take the paint off the brush. I can't do it with like this, right? With, uh, with the paper towel. Don't use your towels because, or hand towels like this, because you'll ruin the towel and it won't be, you won't be able to clean anymore. It'll just it'll just get hard and it won't it won't be usable. So if you want to learn how to draw people, and a great way to a great a great way to start is get one of these. Or if you want to draw comic books, I, I had some comics. I forgot what my comic books are. Um, somewhere around. Oh, here we go. I have this one for example, Green Arrow. If you want to if you want to draw this stuff. And use this this guy. That's a great way to. Right? Superman. It's my favorite, my favorite superhero. Very cliche, but it's true. Superman and Batman, my favorite superheroes. Anyways, this is a great way to copy stuff. If you want to learn, you can obviously uh, use the this to to help you with size and and proportions. And your camera, use the grid, take a picture of it. Um, you want to look at things as, as, as if they're 2D, right? You, you don't want to look this, you don't want to look at Superman and think he's in 3D because it'll just confuse you. 2D, this is two dimensional. It's a flat surface, it's a two dimensional, it's a two dimensional uh, object and figure. All right. Um, yeah, so so these these uh these action figures are great, especially look at his hands for example. They're not they're not you know it's not the it's not a perfect model right, but it's pretty damn close and it'll help. And from here you can develop your own ideas. The arms are it's even got it's got a, it's even got a little bit of the the forearm muscle. It's not out of proportion. It's got it's it's got a specific proportion which is which isn't very off. Right? It's not superhero. It's not superhero proportion. It's it's an actual human proportion because he's a an actual person. Oh, well, anyways, you got you got a tool there for some a model to use. All right. Um, all right. I'm gonna make another video as soon as I finish this one so I could go over books really fast. Um, okay, so ho hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. <laughs> I know that's something everybody says. I'm going to start saying that because uh, I want to get viewers on YouTube. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. Oh, if you find empty jars. Oh, I'm dropping everything. If you find em em empty jars, you want to... You want to conserve them, wash whatever's inside. If it's like uh, something like a protein, a, pro a protein drink or whatever, these are excellent. You save these things, and then if you're gonna work big, you add the gesso, and then, anyways, it's kind of an idea, a basic idea. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of some. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing something. I'm forgetting something. I'm um, drawing, 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 drawing. Um, okay, going back to all of this, everything. All of this stuff revolves around drawing, right? So if you're gonna, if you're going to start uh, working uh, in the abstract realm or the abstract uh, 
that's probably not the correct one though you're gonna start uh experimenting with abstract art um i recommend that you later on not necessarily right away but later on you find something that will um that will help you learn a bit about drawing like the workshop i i, I posted on youtube it, it'll it will only enhance this it will only enhance this um I've I've tried to to work, I've tried to work without drawing in mind, and I just kind of use use uh, use the abstract um, uh, exp abstract expressionist um, idea of putting stuff on the canvas, being expressive, and just pouring stuff. And being the results are very good, actually. The results are very good, but I like to. Um, Uh, delete delete that last idea no it's 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 it, you don't have to you don't have to learn about drawing i'm just i'm just saying that if you do it's only going to enhance your work and it's going to help and everything ev ev uh, evolves from drawing and and uh revolves around it but uh anyways no good luck i'm gonna go over these books and uh in another video please like and subscribe uh let me know what you think if, if you have any ideas or questions um all right uh thank you